In a groundbreaking announcement, scientists have revealed the discovery of a celestial object unlike anything previously known. NASA, famous for its revolutionary findings, disclosed that this planet is fascinating not only because of its size and position, but also because it emits a light that appears artificial. Could this be the moment we uncover hidden truths that dramatically reshape our understanding of the cosmos? Might this discovery hint at the possibility of life beyond Earth? By exploring NASA's trailblazing research, we aim to uncover the fact behind this extraordinary phenomenon. In 2007, NASA launched the Dawn mission to investigate some of the most mysterious objects in our solar system. Powered by three advanced ion propulsion systems, Dawn began its mission with a 14-month study of Vesta, the second largest asteroid in the belt. The spacecraft sent back highly detailed images and data, revealing Vesta's complex surface features and geological history. After completing its work at Vesta, Dawn embarked on an even more thrilling leg of its journey, an in-depth investigation of the Dwarf Planet series. Thanks to its ion propulsion system, Dawn successfully left Vesta's orbit and set course for Ceres, a maneuver that would have been impossible with conventional chemical engines. The steady thrust from these ion systems allowed Dawn to cover great distances and achieve a stable orbit around its new target, Ceres. Discovered in 1801 by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi, it is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Although it was briefly classified as the smallest dwarf planet in our solar system, its status changed in 2006. With a diameter of roughly 950 kilometers, Ceres remains the biggest and most massive body in the asteroid belt, making a particularly compelling object of study. Scientists eagerly awaited the first close-up images of this intriguing world. When they finally arrived, they revealed strikingly bright spots scattered across Ceres' surface, most notably within a large crater named Decatur. These luminous patches sparked immediate excitement and debate among researchers. Before Dawn's arrival, the clearest images of Ceres were blurry, low-resolution shots from the Hubble Space Telescope, leaving much about this dwarf planet shrouded in mystery. The prospect of detailed, high-resolution observations ignited interest among astronomers and space enthusiasts worldwide. The Dawn mission sought to deepen our understanding of how the solar system formed and to explore the role of water in shaping planetary bodies. The bright spots on Ceres and similar features on other asteroids may consist of reflective substances, potentially salts left behind by evaporating water. This finding hinted at the possibility of cryovolcanism, volcano-like activity that releases water or brine instead of molten rock. But what are these mysterious lights truly made of, and what do they reveal about Ceres' nature? Are they evidence of ongoing geological processes, or could they point to something even more extraordinary? Ceres distinguishes itself from other asteroid belt objects through its size, mass, composition, and likely reservoirs of water and ice. Unlike most rocky asteroids, Ceres has a composition more akin to that of a comet, suggesting it may hold valuable clues about the early solar system. After two years of travel, Dawn finally approached Ceres in early 2015, achieving a historic milestone by providing the first detailed views of the largest body in the asteroid belt. As the spacecraft drew closer, the images sharpened, unveiling a world never before seen in such detail. The surface showed the scars of countless impacts, but what captivated scientists most were mysterious bright spots glowing amid the dark, rugged landscape. As image resolution improved, researchers began proposing theories to explain the phenomenon. Were these patches of ice reflecting sunlight? Or could they be something even more unusual? Hypotheses range from reflective mineral deposits to possibilities far beyond our current understanding. Evidence of cryovolcanic activity has emerged on Ceres. To everyone's surprise, closer analysis revealed that the brightest area wasn't a single feature, but a cluster of distinct regions. The leading explanation is that these are salt deposits left behind after water sublimated, evaporated directly from ice into gas. This points to the possibility that Ceres either once had or may still have geological processes capable of bringing water or briny mixtures to the surface, where they quickly evaporate, leaving behind reflective salt residues. These discoveries overturned previous assumptions, portraying Ceres as a far more dynamic and complex world than once thought. 
The possible presence of subsurface water or brine pockets has significant implications for our search for life elsewhere in the solar system. Ceres is often described as an icy body with rocky yet porous crust. Unlike most asteroids, which are primarily rock and metal, Ceres stands out because of its unique makeup. Its surface is a mix of water, ice, and hydrated minerals like clays and carbonates, giving it a much lower density than its rocky neighbors. This composition hints at the existence of considerable amounts of water beneath its surface. The outer layers are rocky but porous, trapping ice and volatile compounds, making it more similar to a comet than a typical asteroid. Scientists believe that Ceres has a distinctive internal structure, with a rocky mantle surrounding a water-ice-rich core, which may account for nearly half of the planet's total volume. The mantle likely consists of rock and brine, encasing a denser core, possibly made of silicates. The abundance of water ice raises the possibility that liquid water might have once existed within Ceres, especially if its core was heated by radioactive decay during its early formation. This internal structure makes Ceres unique among the objects in the asteroid belt and invites deeper questions about its geological activity and the role water has played in its evolution. But there's more. The detection of ammonia-rich clays suggests that Ceres may have originated in the colder outer solar system before migrating inward. Ammonia can lower water's freezing point, meaning briny liquids could persist near or on the surface. These findings not only broaden our understanding of Ceres' past and composition, but also provide valuable insights into how icy bodies form and change across the solar system. Cryovolcanism itself is a rare and captivating geological process, unlike the fiery volcanic activity we see on Earth. Instead of erupting molten rock, cryovolcanoes, or ice volcanoes, release water, ammonia, or methane, which can stay in liquid or gas form in extremely cold conditions. On Ceres, cryovolcanic activity likely pushes salty water up through the crust. When this briny fluid reaches the surface and meets the vacuum of space, it rapidly sublimates, turning directly from liquid or solid into gas. What's left behind are bright, reflective salt deposits, the mysterious bright spots observed on the surface. The most prominent of these areas is in a Cater Crater, specifically in a region nicknamed Spot 5. This location has fascinated scientists because of its intense reflectivity and noticeable changes over time, likely caused by the sublimation of water, hinting that cryovolcanism is still active or has occurred recently. Besides Spot 5, many other bright patches have been found scattered across Ceres, each with its own characteristics. These luminous spots aren't confined to a single area, suggesting that cryovolcanic activity may be widespread. Their presence highlights the fact that Ceres is geologically alive, contradicting the old view of it as a dormant, inactive body. As NASA's Dawn mission transmitted increasingly detailed images, it revealed a world covered in craters, each telling a part of Ceres' story. These insights from scientists and new theories about this small world have completely reshaped our understanding of Ceres. Its icy composition, dynamic geology, and mysterious bright spots paint a picture of a far more fascinating and active planet than anyone imagined. With evidence of possible cryovolcanic activity, this planet is no longer seen as a static, frozen remnant, but as a dynamic and evolving world. The bright regions, especially those within the AAR crater, continue to captivate scientists, suggesting not only ongoing geological processes, but also the potential for subsurface water reservoirs. Studying Ceres offers far-reaching insights beyond this single dwarf planet. By examining its internal structure, surface features, and reflective deposits, scientists gain valuable clues about the behavior and evolution of other icy bodies within our solar system. The materials identified on Ceres, such as water ice, ammonia-rich clays, and reflective salts, shed light on the chemical makeup and environmental processes of similar planetary objects. Even more intriguing is the potential for cryovolcanism, which could reshape our understanding of geological activity on icy moons, dwarf planets, and perhaps even distant exoplanets. This raises an exciting possibility. Worlds we once thought lifeless and frozen could in fact harbor complex natural processes and possibly the conditions needed for life. The Dawn mission stands as a remarkable chapter in NASA's history, highlighting the immense value of space exploration. Its discoveries have profoundly reshaped our understanding of how planets and moons form and evolve within our cosmic neighborhood. 
As researchers continue to analyze Ceres and other distant worlds, every new finding helps piece together the broader story of planetary development. Today, Ceres' luminous regions remain some of the most intriguing mysteries in planetary science, but they mark only the beginning. With future technological advancements and upcoming missions, the potential for even more revolutionary discoveries grows. Once just a faint object in the asteroid belt, Ceres now symbolizes the vast promise of exploration. Its layered interior, unusual surface, and enigmatic bright spots could one day reveal critical clues about the early solar system and the processes that shaped its planets. The tantalizing possibility that microbial life, or at least its essential building blocks, might exist beneath Ceres' surface continues to energize scientists and space enthusiasts worldwide. As humanity's exploration of distant worlds advances, the line between science fiction and reality becomes increasingly blurred. What was once purely speculative, the existence of extraterrestrial life, is now a serious scientific pursuit. Could microscopic organisms inhabit hidden reservoirs beneath Ceres' crust? Might the icy worlds elsewhere in our solar system or beyond offer environments where life as we know it, or entirely new forms, could emerge? These are the compelling questions that will drive the next era of space exploration, gradually revealing the deeper mysteries of the cosmos.